Hey, what up? It's dirty. So, finally finished my paracord bull whip. Uh, finished at about five and a half feet. Kind of got tired of doing the damn plating or braiding, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, I ended it kind of short. Um, I think if it's longer, it go, it's a little bit easier to crack and stuff. But I, I haven't had too much problems, you know, cracking this one. So, you know, it worked out for me. I did put these Turks heads or whatever you call them, but I did it all ghetto style. So, it just came out like a penis head, kind of. Got this little wrap up here. This one is ghetto too, but kind of just did it to you know, kind of finish it off. Um, and I put this little, you know, paracord thing too, because I had a lot of leftover um, gutted paracord after this. The handle is um, stainless steel. Then there's like a core of BBs in it, and like a lot of electrical tape and stuff. I'll do a little follow-up video, um, some supplies, and a little more explaining how I made it. So that you know, if you if you're gonna try to make one, you know, it might help you out a little bit. I'm probably not gonna do a full-on tutorial, just because it took me so long. I don't really want to make another one right now, so maybe in the future, but we'll see. Um, but if you are tired of making you know paracord bracelets, you know, easy stuff. This is uh, a lot more challenging, you know, and uh, it's relaxing though. You know, you do it while you're watching TV or something. It takes up your time. It's pretty good. And it's rewarding after, you know, I mean, it's freaking sweet. I mean, you know, how many people say they made their own paracord bullwhip that actually cracks and stuff, so. It's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'll put a link below. It. Okay, so I know you guys are going to ask, like, oh, can you, will you build me one? I'll pay for it, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, I'm not going to make any because it took too long. It took me like 15 hours to make this. Probably not going to make any more. But if you do want to buy it, or buy one, um, I know a guy who sells them, and he makes really nice ones. Mine looks, mine looks like a piece of shit. If you see his, they're really nice. I mean, really high quality and stuff. So, it's a uh, White North Whips. Um, I'll put a link below. Um, you, he also has a YouTube channel too. You can check him out. Uh, he does some, you know, how to do this plating stuff too. If you want um, tips on how to make your own and stuff like that. But he's a cool guy, and like I said, his whips are quality, man. Mine look is freaking like, like I said, just ghetto. So check his out for some nice ones. And he, anyways, put up a video, um, me cracking it and stuff, and then maybe later put up a little follow video with a little how-to and shit like that. So check out me cracking this thing. Yep. All right, so we'll take a couple cracks of this water bottle. It's probably not gonna rip it open or nothing, but I'll show you. Once you get it, it's pretty accurate, and then you kind of just got to trust yourself with the whip. You're going to probably get hit a couple times, but everyone I let try, they get scared. And honestly, I mean, you're going to get a couple hits, you know what I mean? You just got to deal with it. But once you get it, once you're confident with it, it's pretty easy to get to crack. So, pretty fun. I mean, it, it is pretty loud. Uh, people thought I was cracking fireworks and stuff. One one night we was kind of drinking and playing with it. A friend told me to stop because it's getting a little loud. <clears throat> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the little demonstration. I know you rather would have me been whipped by a dirty zero probably, but I don't think that's gonna happen. If you've heard this thing in real life, you wouldn't want to get whipped with, by it either. Anyways, it's dirty. Shoots. <laughs>